out here flying around here. Rick, did you see my lovely bird sitting on my shoulders? Raya, I saw your parakeets flying in this area. Actually, the rest of the parakeets are on the tree. Okay, I think we need to feed them. Rick, can you get some nuts and seeds from your place? Sure, I can. I'll be back in a minute. Rango and Baira, can you get some berries and grapes? I got some nuts and seeds from my house. Do you think this will be enough? Let's see here. There are 12 parakeets. I think this will be fine. Thank you all. I think we have plenty to feed the parakeets. <laughs> Raya, you feed some parakeets, I'll feed some, and let Rangu feed the rest. Okay, let's do that. Fun. I believe the parakeets must be feeling full now. Let me check that. Are you all full now? Full, 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 full. Looks like they're ready to play. Raya, can you ask them to hop on Baira's back? them to take some rest in their cage. Can you help me with that? Sure I can. What can I do for you? I'll call them in their language and you need to direct them to the cage. Sure, no problem. That's two in the cage. Yeah, I see that. There were two in the cage already. Now there are two more. These two will make it four. Yes, two twos make it four. That sounds funny. I know what you mean. One two is two. And two twos are four. Okay, I'll make it simpler. The parakeets are settling in the cage as sets of two. The first set had two parakeets. And when the second set of two parakeets added to the first set, it became four. So two sets of two parakeets make it four parakeets. There were four in the cage already. Now there are two more, making it six. Yes, three twos make it six. The first set had two parakeets. And when the second set of two parakeets added to the first set, it became four. Now the third set of two parakeets made it six. So three sets of two parakeets make it six parakeets. There were six in the cage already. Now there are two more, making it eight. Yes, four twos make it eight. The first set had two parakeets, and the second set of two were added, it became four. The third set of two parakeets made it six. Now the fourth set of two made it eight. So four sets of two parakeets made it eight parakeets. There were eight in the cage already. Now there are two more, making it ten. Yes, five twos make it ten. The first set had two parakeets. The second set of two were added, it became four. The third set of two parakeets made it six. The fourth set of two made it eight. Now the fifth set of two parakeets made it ten. So five sets of two parakeets made it ten parakeets. There were ten in the cage already. Now there are two more, making it twelve. 
Yes, six twos make it twelve. The first set had two parakeets. The second set of two were added. It became four. The third set of two parakeets made it six. The fourth set of two made it eight. Now the fifth set of two parakeets made it ten. The sixth set made it twelve. So six sets of two parakeets make it twelve parakeets. I can tell you how this goes. One two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are six. Four twos are eight. Five twos are ten. Six twos are twelve, and so on. Exactly. You got that right. Let's recall. Hi, this is Raya. Welcome, everyone. Today we saw the parakeets feed, fly, and rest. Through all this, we learned the concept of multiples. Okay, it's time to recall them. When Rick was letting the parakeets into the cage, he was letting them in twos at first. When two parakeets joined two more in the cage, do you remember how many did they become? Was it six parakeets, four parakeets, or five parakeets? Yes, it is four parakeets. Since two multiplied by two makes four. Okay, I'll make it simpler. The parakeets are settling in the cage as sets of two. The first set had two parakeets, and when the second set of two parakeets added to the first set, it became four. So two sets of two parakeets make it four parakeets. Rick was letting more parakeets into the cage in sets of twos. When he left four sets of twos, it became eight. When the fifth set of two parakeets were let in the cage, do you remember how many they became? Was it eight parakeets, nine parakeets, or ten parakeets? Yes, it is ten parakeets. Since two multiplied by five makes ten. The first set had two parakeets. The second set of two were added. It became four. The third set of two parakeets made it six. The fourth set of two made it eight. Now the fifth set of two parakeets made it ten. So five sets of two parakeets made it ten parakeets. That's all we have. Have a great day. Rangu, what are you doing? Stop that! Oh, what's this guy up to? Rick, can you please help me here? Sure, Raya. I'll be there. Please hold that pot on one end, and I'll put it back in its place. Oh, this Rangu is on to his mischief again. Rick, did you see the parakeets are missing from their cage? Really? What happened? Where did they go? Oh, I forgot to close the door when I saw the pot shaking. I see the parakeets are up there. Can you call them back? Sure, I can. This time, to make it easy, I'll have them come in four at a time. Okay, go ahead. That's four in the cage. There were four in the cage already. Now there are four more. These four will make it eight. Yes, two fours made it eight. Yeah, I see that. One four is four, and two fours are eight. Okay, I'll explain this. The parakeets are settling in the cage as sets of four now. The first set had four parakeets. And when the second set of four parakeets added to the first set, it became eight. So two sets of four parakeets make it eight parakeets. These four will make it twelve. Yes, three fours make it twelve. Yeah, that's true. One four is four. Two fours are eight. And three fours are twelve. Okay, here it goes. The parakeets are settling in the cages as sets of four. The first set had four parakeets, and the second set of four made it eight. Now the third set of four parakeets joined the eight parakeets, make it twelve parakeets. So three sets of four parakeets make it twelve parakeets.
That was easy. We got all the parakeets in. Let's make sure we close the cage door this time. Sure, Rick. Let's do that. Let's recall! Hi, this is Rhea. Welcome, everyone. Today, we saw the parakeets feed, fly, and rest. Through all this, we learned the concept of multiples. Okay, it's time to recall them. Well, the cage was left open after all of them got in. Do you remember what happened? Yes, they flew away. Now, they came back in sets of fours. Rick sent in the cage. The first set of four parakeets first, and then the second set of four parakeets. Do you remember how many were in total after that? Was it eight parakeets? Ten parakeets? Or twelve parakeets? Yes. It is 8 parakeets, since 4 multiplied by 2 makes it 8. Ok, I'll explain this. The parakeets are settling in the cage as sets of 4 now. The first set had 4 parakeets. And when the second set of 4 parakeets added to the first set, it became 8. So 2 sets of 4 parakeets make it 8 parakeets. Rick sent in the third set of 4 parakeets next. Do you remember how many were in total after that? Was it 10 parakeets, 11 parakeets, or 12 parakeets? Yes, it is 12 parakeets, since 4 multiplied by 3 makes it 12. Ok, here it goes. The parakeets are settling in the cages at sets of 4. The first set had 4 parakeets, and the second set of 4 made it 8. Now the third set of 4 parakeets join the 8 parakeets to make it 12 parakeets. So 3 sets of 4 parakeets make it 12 parakeets. That's all we have. Have a great day. Rhea, do you think you can come over to my place and feed my bunnies? Oh Rick, you know how much I love that. We can go there right now. Okay, come on over. Let's get Rungu's scooter to go there. Rungu, get your scooter for us. <laughs> Rungu and Baira, look for the bunnies. We'll join you too. Let's have some fun. Shall we get food for the bunnies? Yes, Rhea. Make sure you get plenty of hay and grass and lots of water. And Rungu, you go ahead and get some carrots. Rhea, go ahead and give those bunnies some hay and grass while I feed those carrots to them. Okay, Rick, I'll do that. I believe the bunnies are all full. It's playtime. Okay, bunnies, we'll play hide and seek. Rhea, close your eyes and count till 10, and then look out for those bunnies. Okay, here it starts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Here I come. Okay, Rhea. You can find them now. Found you! There they are! Here they are. Hey guys, here are the bunnies. There were 12 in total and I've found them all. Okay everyone, it's nap time for the bunnies. <laughs> wow Rick, they are good. Thank you Rhea, let's just let them into their cage for a nap. That's three in the first cage, let me get the next three. 
cage had three bunnies. The second cage also had three bunnies. The bunnies in these two cages will make a six. Yes, two threes make it six. Yeah, I know. One three is three. And two threes are six. Okay, I'll make it simpler. The bunnies are in the cages as sets of three. The first cage had three bunnies, and when the second cage of three bunnies was added to the first cage, it became six. So two sets of three bunnies make it six bunnies. There were six in two cages already. Now there's one more cage of three bunnies to make it nine. Yes, three threes make it nine. The first set had three bunnies. And when the second set of three bunnies added to the first set, it became six. Now, the third set of three bunnies made it nine. So three sets of three bunnies make it nine bunnies. There were nine in three cages already. Now there's one more cage of three bunnies to make it twelve. Yes, four threes make it twelve. The first set had three bunnies. And when the second set of the three added to the first set, it became six. The third set of the three made it nine. Now, the fourth set will make it twelve. So four sets of three bunnies made it twelve bunnies. Okay guys, the bunnies are having a nap. I think it's time for us to have our lunch and take a nap too. Okay Rick, Baira and Rangu, bye! Hi, this is Raya. Welcome everyone. We also saw Rick's bunnies play feed and go for a nap. Through all this, we learned the concept of multiples. Okay, it's time to recall them. After all this, we went to Rick's house to feed his bunnies. They settled down in their cage for a nap as well. They went inside separate cages. Each cage could hold three bunnies. The first set of three bunnies went in first cage. And then the second set of three went in the next cage. How many did they become? Was it four bunnies? Five bunnies? Or six bunnies? Yes, it is six bunnies. Since three multiplied by two makes it six. Okay, I'll make it simpler. The bunnies are in the cages as sets of three. The first cage had three bunnies and when the second cage of three bunnies was added to the first cage, it became six. So two sets of three bunnies make it six bunnies. The next set of three bunnies went in the third cage. Finally, the last set of three bunnies went in the fourth cage. How many bunnies were there in total in all four cages? Was it nine bunnies? Twelve bunnies? Or ten bunnies? Yes, it is 12 bunnies. Since 3 multiplied by 4 makes it 12. The first set had 3 bunnies. And when the second set of the 3 added to the first set, it became 6. The third set of the 3 made it 9. Now, the fourth set will make it 12. So 4 sets of 3 bunnies made it 12 bunnies. That's all we have. Have a great day.